Welcome to part three on how to paint a Labrador Retriever in the backyard. In part one and two, I develop the dog's eyes and develop the color and fur texture in his face and neck. In today's episode, I will be uh, developing the fence uh, and flowers and grass in the background and also completing the body of the dog's fur. The fence line in the photo has a natural gray uh, weathered appearance. So I will begin with a light gray color for my first layer. I will darken in the shadowed areas of the boards to separate and give them a distinct look. Once I have finished where the boards go, I can begin adding some of the grain features that you find in the natural uh, wood fences. I'm using some grays and light tan to give the board some color and then once I have all the grain uh, texture added I softly blend the colors together and give it a more natural appearance. Along the fence line is a very nice potted plant that I will develop with the darker shade of green first uh, along the shadowed areas of the leaves. I won't focus too much on the plant, but I just want to capture the shapes and colors of the leaves and then I'll complete the pot that the uh, plant is in. Now that the background has been done behind the dog's head, I will continue uh, completing the uh, details in the dog's fur and body. He has a lot of white fur in his chest and legs, but I will use a, a light gray and very soft taupe color brown to bring out the fur in, in these areas. I will continue to work on the shadowed areas first and then gradually build my layers with the lightest color on the very top layer of the fur.
developed most of the fur in the dog's body, but I would like to move on to the backyard grass before completing the final fur details in the dog. I will begin by blocking in the dark shadow being cast from the dog in the grass and blend it into a lighter shade of green. I will begin by drawing in some of the blades of grass. I want to achieve uh, taller grass in the foreground and gradually taper off to a shorter level of grass as we go to the back uh, area of the fence line. You may notice that I use a V pattern while drawing the individual blades of grass. This way the grass begins to overlap each other and it creates a thicker um, look in the texture of the grass. I will gradually apply other colors of green, um, especially lighter colors, to give some highlights and more shape to the individual grass blades. This can be a long, tedious process, but it needs to be developed slowly, and I'll gradually um, develop shorter grass as I move towards the background. Now that I've built up some of the grass, I'm going to try and complete some of the fur details in the dog's body. I'm adding some more light brown to the shadowed areas of his fur and gradually blend it very softly and, and not over blend it as I work my way down his body. Once I have the um, total background completed. Then I'll add the finest layers of hair um, that extends over the background uh, as the last step of this uh, portrait. Thank you for watching this episode of completing this lab's portrait. I look forward to sharing more pet portrait videos and lessons with you. Please press like and subscribe for more lessons and demonstrations in the future. Thank you.